But there are things that the wife's doing that the man's not saying anything. And when I ask them in private, ladies, this is what they tell me. This is gospel truth. This is what they tell me. Well, if you don't like your wife, don't want you to say anything. Jim, this is the answer. Because I have basically chosen that I want to be happy, content, whatever in my marriage. And here's what I've, here's what I've noticed. My wife, I say you, Renee, <laughs> but many of the men, when I say what what is truth and right and should say, my wife makes my life so miserable for the next seven days, pick a time period, that I just be quiet. That's another kind of stonewalling issue because I don't feel like I can really say what what I want to say. So 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 therefore I'm gonna go work. Okay? Now now, now I don't know why I'm I'm gonna say, you know, obviously a person who doesn't want that. So but but it was so important to me, I said I'm willing to deal with the consequences now versus 26 years of having the wrong thing. But but I'm telling you ladies, when I talk to guys, they will say, and I'll say this about Teresa, the prop, there are two reasons for, for the key to our marriage moving from good to great. I think one is as a boy, my most sincere prayer was God send me a wife. And so God sent me exactly not only what I wanted but what I needed. Then secondly, the key, because when you hear me share stories about you of improper responses, the key to our marriage has been Teresa's spiritual maturity. You know what I'm saying? Even when I didn't say the right thing in the right way, she was at that time the bigger person. You know what I mean? And fortunately in our marriage, we've never both been angry about the same thing at the same time. You know, so she's able to go, man, you know, to herself probably, that would just really stupid to say it. So, but, but it's a whole nother issue that we're going to talk about in one of the later chapters. I'm telling you, there are men all across America as we talk to them, who, who are, you know, this is really bothering my wife is doing it. But I, I'm, I'm going to choose not to say anything and go down that road because that's more tolerable than say something and go down this road. What were you saying? Oh, she'll abandon the lead. 
father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and they, should, they, they too shall be one flesh. You know, not just physically. I see that as, you know, you're trying to move together spiritually. And of course, yes, you're going to have disagreements. But as you grow more and more, I think you grow more in your ability to be patient with one another. And the disagreements should go further yeah. and further apart. And I let you that's you're going to get Absolutely. perfect, you know, in, in this lifetime. But you will really begin to be able to look beyond just what I want. You know, is this pleasing me? Now, is it pleasing God? Because if it pleases God, God's going to see to it that you get out of it what you need. You know, whether it's what you want or not, you get what you need. You, you know, let me just say this. Teresa shared this with me later. I didn't know the time, but, but and it just talks about dwelling with your spouse in terms of getting to, to know them. Oftentimes, when we would disagree, and that's how I was really wrong. You know, what she later told me she would do is what she just said. She would literally just pray, Lord. You know, I, I, I guess she would maybe reverse what Adam said. This man you gave me. You know, you know, she, you know she would just really pray. And oftentimes, because I'm seeking God as well, I would come to her. Even when I added it, he told her, no. You know, that's how I was wrong, but no, we ain't doing it. Okay, so then I would come back to her and say, you know, what you mentioned does make sense. That's what we're going to do. But now, ladies, listen to me carefully. Now, I know this is not right, but now, had Teresa kept insisting, you know, you, you're going to hear me, then, then I'm not sure I would have responded the same way. You know what I mean? So, so somebody has got to, we both want to be like Christ, but we really... You know, somebody oftentimes in situations, somebody's bigger than the other one, but but we both really need to be seeking Christ to be like him. Uh, we didn't get a chance to bring him in the group, but what I wish you would do is fill out this survey and just rip it off, you know, so so and, and maybe next week just bring it back so I can really compile a list of this is what men view as being not respectful, this is what women view as not being loved, if you guys don't mind doing that and sharing it with us. Okay. We, we, we leave with anything not covered?